Hi there. In today's video, we're going to look at if statements. If statements are one of the most useful and possibly important aspects of writing scripts. Uh, they allow you to make decisions based on the values that are input. So if one thing happens, then do something else. So how we write an if statement is we start by writing if, and then we'll use an open and close parenthesis in our arguments. Up there, this is where our argument's gonna go. And then our code block goes right here. So the argument is looking for a true statement. If what you put in here is true, then it will execute whatever is in your code block. So for this example, let's just do a logger. And we're not actually going to run it, but this will allow you to look at what's happening. Hello world. So for true is true. If we ran this right now, it would log hello world. If we were to change true to false, it would log nothing. Um, now let's say we put something down here. And result, whatever it is, if we were to run this, it would not log this, but it would always run this logger here, no matter what, because the logger is outside of the code block of the if statement. So let's say we want to have a couple options, though. Maybe if this is false, we like we don't always want to run this logger, but we want to run this if this is false and only if it's false. Well, we have else. So after your if, and after you close your curly bracket there, your code block, you can type else, I'll put a new curly bracket or a new code block, and we can put this logger inside there. So what's gonna happen if we run this is it will only log the end result, because it's saying, well, this is false, which means we're not going to run inside this code block. We're going to skip to the next thing. The next thing is otherwise run this. And that is going to get you pretty far in life. However, there are occasions where you have more than just a yes or no response. So if statements can also, again, they're just looking for true or truthy statements. And you can use logical and comparison operators to put into this argument. So you can also just put variables in here. So let's create a variable and we'll call this result. And we'll put result here. So whatever result is, if it's true or false, um, let's, well actually, let's call this a number. We're gonna say result equals three. So, we're going to create if statement that says if result equals one, let's log one. But if it's anything else, if it's anything other than one, it's going to log this. But we want to do something if the result is two, something very specific. So we have else if statements, which allows to create a new argument within the same if statement, essentially. So if result is one, then log one. If the result is two, then log two. And this can go on for a while. You can keep doing else if, let's do else if three, and log three, and so on and so forth. You can see how this goes. And lastly, you can end it with, we could actually stop right here. And if it's one, two, or three, log these. If it is none of those, then it just won't do anything at all. But let's say we want to catch anything other than these three. So maybe it's five, but we still want to know something. That's, we can bring our else statement back in, out the if, and say, if it's not any of these three things, Let's log greater than three. There you have it. That is the basics of if statements. And happy scripting, everyone. 
If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and follow my channel and keep watching. Thanks.